Another batch has just started coming off. That's a good stack. Morning, Holly. There we are. We coming. Ah, you Good morning. She doesn't hang about anymore. This gets obliterated. Here's the big man. Hey, boy. After the scanning results, it's not looking like Pash is going to be sticking around here too much longer. Cattle all squared up, heading back to yard number one, where there's some wheat to shift before we get combining today. Dad's made a start. He's already obviously emptied that trailer because we filled them both last night. Put the lights on in here. Pits needing topped up. There'll not be a full batch on there. It was coming in so much drier last night than it was when we started yesterday. During the day, it went from 22% right the way down to about 16 and a half percent wheat at 16 and a half you're laughing this trailer's full so i'll go and empty it and by the time i've emptied that and got back the other one will be full scrap everything i've just told you having a thought of now there's wheat even pushed up so i'll need to i'll finish filling off this trailer go around it i'll need it all pushed up we'll need to be pretty keen on pushing up the wheat just there's a lot to go in trailer's both full let's go do some pushing Get this in action. Another batch has just started coming off, and then we'll get the pit filled up again. First of all, we've got that trailer and this trailer to fill up again. There we go, 150 ton shifted ish. Just gonna top off the pit now. I started off bucket by bucket, but I'm just gonna give it a shunt. That shows you how wet it is. See clumps like that? You don't get clumps like that if it's less than kind of 18%, 19%. There's no point clearing stuff at that end because we're gonna be combining today. So we may as well clear the pit and get all this pushed in and the wet stuff close to it pushed in because we can dump here with trailers again. We cleared at that end, you'd clear it all into the pit, fill it all up, and then you go and dump at that end, and then you'd have to move it again. Clear this stuff, you just do less for lift work if you do it that way. It's not too bonny a day, it's kind of mm, not looking so nice. Moisture proofing, all done on the edges of these new buildings. This building here still needs to get cladded, but the internals are starting to come along. Plastered, painted, skirted, radiators are all in. I'll show you just now. Painted, skirted. Lights are in, cameras are in, smoke alarms, radiators, sockets. Need to deal with the floor. So the floor may need painted, like a ceiling, uh, because concrete over uh, concrete always produces a wee bit of dust all the time. Fully carpet everything and seal it in that way. You'll still get a bit of dust that way, so it might need like a ceiling all over it, then a carpet. We've got toilets and sinks. Progress. It's been slow progress, but it's ticking away. Fueled up. Pit's empty, dryer's on, go and push up some wheat in the big shed. The mountain of wheat begins. Right, we're now all caught up with shifting wheat and pushing up wheat, so Dunk's just started with a combine. Dump the pusher up there out the road, go fill in the pit again, and then head along the road we'll get combining for the day and that'll hopefully fingers crossed be us combining from now till late on don't need to bother filling up the pit by the time it needs to fill more out of there we'll have full loads from the field this is the wheel that had the big screw in it but it wasn't punctured right the way through and i wasn't sure what to do with it anyway i did nothing and so far so good and we're off again back to the races now it's light you can see what we cut last night so we're probably just about halfway now. We'll get this wiped out. It'll be another probably five, six hours to get this done. Then we're away to yard number two where there's an absolute stonker of a field to do. But we're shifting again. Radiators are all blowing off. So Dunk will keep an eye on that a wee bit today. It's not as stewy this morning just because of a bit of dampness about holding it back. But the stew will build. Dunk will be keeping an eye on the radiators today. Never been an issue before. Uh, we've not overheated the combine. Um, but obviously yesterday there was just a lot of fine stew and it was getting its way on top of the radiator. 
blocking the radiators, didn't allow the cooling system to work properly and overheated. <laughs> First load, flowing out the trailer fairly well, so it's it's not 20% anyway. Need to go and grab the grease gun, that trailer's needing the grease, and also I need a cable tie because the electric connector, I'll show you in a second. There we go. Electric connector here, it every so often wiggles loose and comes out, so just cable tie it in. There we go. Tractor needs a wash. It's not a job for today. Just shifted the sign that way so I can go out here with the tractor because this is the kind of blind exit. That's the old shop entrance. It's a lot nicer to drive out of with a tractor than this entrance, which is the farm entrance. But I mean, they converge down there anyway. There's a wee bit to do up there, but basically feel done. That is taking that tractor that I was in back home. I'm gonna grab the trolley here, get the header. We'll head to yard number two where we've got belter of a field to wipe out. Gate ladies are gonna have a go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, he nailed it. Uh. I'm laughing and taking the mech. I, I do this every time, but we'll not tell her that. Oh, better. Ah, it's not bad. Right, on you go, go back. Keep going. That's it. One more load. Where's the combine? There it is. Right, what shift? Defender smelling a bit fruity after chugging the header all the way up the hill to this yard. Just about ready to go. Combine's doing some ad blue. Get it topped off and then we'll start whacking down this wheat. We'll be here cutting wheat for three days probably. Seed got delivered the other day. This is a crop that we harvested this year, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Sent it away, treated, and we've got it back now, as well as loads of other growers across the country. Okay, nice and tight in. Add blue tanks just in that corner there. It's tight in there. That'll do. Done. Filled up. We're going to weigh down here, down the track. Happy days. Next field, which goes away out there, and then it goes a kilometre in that direction, and it comes around the back of that wood. Cracking. Dad's off in the pride and joy. I'm into this machine. Combine's just getting motoring now. Happy days. It's about half four or five o'clock now, so we'll get a good bit of whacked out of the way, but we'll, uh, we'll still need at least two more days here after that. This is the road we've got. We made this when we are cutting silage, so there's no wheat in that. The heads are all stripped. Worked quite well, that's where the road went. Dunk just cut to there and then nudged himself closer to the wall. So the auger lined up. The field of oats that's already cut up there, so I can use that to get back to the yard that way. But it's a big long round from, from this point in this corner all the way to the end of the field. I think it's point 0.9 something of a kilometre. Lovely view obstructed by my doji spraying. Nice. Deer damage. Who's got a rifle? Can't beat some nice brambles. That's a good stack. That's us blind for the next three, four hours till the sun goes down. We're back to just stir everywhere. You can hardly see the combine in there. There's hardly any wind at all, so it's not blowing the stir away, so it gets the chance to kind of linger, and that's why the radiators got blocked yesterday. Sun's going down, looking nice though. Red sky at night. What's the next bit? Put it down below. Combine's over there. Flashes on the combine, so I better get moving. We're starting to batter this field out. The, the end rig on the field took six loads to take out. Three widths of the end rig. It is a belter. All the dry wheat, I, I was earlier, did a wee snap the fingers, because that was going to fill up again, but Dad's managed to keep on top of it and get it all shifted just with a forklift. That's a wet pile. It is starting to grow, but Dad's keeping on top of it with it flying to the dryer. It's when the crops are coming in at 23%, when the rain's coming or it's not got drying conditions and it's late on the harvest, that's when the pile builds up in the shed. Anyway, one more load. Go, 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 get moving, you're gonna get squashed, pal. Last few widths of the night, actually down there, back up this end, and then we're done. All going well today, really good day at it. When it goes smoothly like that, nothing better. Perfect day. I'll get this trailer topped off, we'll call it a day at that, and we'll get going again tomorrow at 10 o'clock or so, conditions are really good.
Good night. She moves like she don't care. Smooth as